remember we have to have Newtons, and Newtons is, oh, it is in kil, oh, no, <coughs> meters. It's around. in meters, so how do we change this to meters? Well, we know 0.213 kilometers times one meter, kilometer is a thousand meters. So we have to multiply by a thousand, which just means we move the decimal three times over that way. Thank you, Brendan. 15.1 times 213. All right, a number, three, three significant digits. Molly, please. Um, 3,202. 3,202? 3,220, sorry. All right, 3,220, and that is Jules. That's three sig figs. The zero there is not counted. Well, you can put it in scientific notation, and that would be also acceptable. All right. All right, here's the problem. All right, questions on that? All right. Jonathan, you got that? Got it? Come together and the points on Oh, you got it right. But oh, we'll just call them your feet. Ten times. <laughs> 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 I'll leave that up here. A newton was a kilogram meter per second squared. It's that man. That's why we had to work in meters, not kilometers. All right. He was originally French, but now mm. he's European. You can give him a little mustache. He does have a mustache. Which is French or European. All right. <laughs> we'll finish that discussion later. Is this, is this All right. The Pardon? Is the snow sticking to the tree? Yeah, a little bit. They said it's going to snow most of the day and accumulate less than an inch. Uh huh. Sure. It's not. It's not really oh, yeah. piling up. It looks about the same as when we came in. It's basically just around in the air instead of Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. I heard we're going to get some wind this week, so. All right, let's see what else we can write in our comp books. There are two kinds. Of, I talked a little bit about work, and the other side of our story is energy. So let's remember this model called work and energy. There are two kinds of energy. If I give you one, see if you can give me the other. <laughs> I will give you potential energy. <coughs> Does anyone know the other from your science past? Potential energy and? No? Anyone had potential energy and? All right, it's kinetic. Oh. Is it on the tip of your brain? Kinetic. That's not <laughs> no, right. really or, or, oh, Kinetic energy. Potential energy is stored. Potential energy is stored energy, and kinetic energy is in motion. So potential energy is where we're going to start our discussion once you get that down. Two kinds of energy, potential and kinetic. Potential is stored, kinetic is moving. I gotta say, I'm trying to bite that look like that. All right. <coughs> All right, has it been 10 minutes? I've already switched it. Oh, thank you. You're good. All right, All right draw a boulder, my curly boulder, and this boulder Notice it is not falling, but it is poised to fall. It is balanced. So draw a balanced boulder on the top of a cliff. This boulder is an example of potential energy. It's not moving at all, so it's, it's poised up there, has no kinetic energy, but it's got a lot of potential energy. In fact, the potential energy it has is defined in this formula, MGH. Write it down and then someone tell me what you think the MG and H stand for. Potential energy, so this is, 
It's just posed up there. It's balanced. All right, Morgan, Ooh, what do you think M stands is. for? Yeah, is, it, is it mass? Right, mass. And then gravity and then height? Right. The, gra gra the gravitational constant, which is 9.8 or 32, depending whether we're in meters or feet. What is I don't know. Can what I the, go down there and yell at them? But the floor is like vibrating. What is below us? The cafeteria, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's somewhat it might there. be in that room. Yeah. It feels like it's either there or there. The floor is vibrating anyway. All right. Did you say height, Morgan, for yeah. this one? Okay, cool. Good for you. MGH is the equation. It is over there. It's Miss Cockerham. Yeah. Doubles. Potential <laughs> energy is MGH. All right, now we're going to add some drama to our picture. And guess what? The boulder has fallen. All right. So now that it's moving, let's define kinetic energy. We've seen it before. Oh, uh, have we seen it before? Does this look familiar? Have we done this before this year? One half mv squared? Maybe not. No. Wait. Yeah, I think we have. Um, no. Serious problem. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and potential is mgh. All right, let's talk about the units for potential energy. So, who can help me with that? Um, Abby, what is the unit for mass normally? I'm going to have to say grams. All right, I'll say kilograms. I'll just bump it up. And uh, what is the unit for gravity? Because it's an acceleration, does that help you? The acceleration due to gravity? Pardon? Meters per second. Right, very good. And the height, what would be a good um, unit for height? Um, right, so putting, putting that all together, we have kilogram meters per second uh, squared. So we have kilogram meters squared over second squared. So we talked originally that a Newton was a kilogram meters per second. So if we add another uh, square, so we add another meter, do you see how this is also a Newton and a meter? If you break this up like this, you'll see that this is nothing more than a Newton meter or a joule. So potential energy has the unit joule. All right, test it. Test that for KE. Um, Annabella, what's a unit for... <coughs> For mass again, kilograms, and velocity, <coughs> uh, meters per, per second. All right, and we're going to square both of those. So we get a kilogram meter squared over second squared, just like we did here, which can also be newton meters, which is a joule. So, so energy, potential, and kinetic have the same unit, the joule. So, all right, let's do another problem. Problems, problems. I've got problems. Draw a stair step with three steps. Anyone have to go up three steps to get into their house? Uh, I have to go, have to go up yes. like ten steps to go up. Wait, one, two. Depends three, on which three, way four, I go. Four, four, Nobody four, has four, three. One. All right. Wait, three steps for what? Very sad. To go into our house? Just one yeah. For both oh, I have three. All right. Okay. We've drawn Morgan's uh, entryway here. And we'll say there's 45 centimeters in between each step. I know. That's tiny. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> 45 centimeters will, so draw the scenario, three steps, and we're going to put our object um, at the top. I have a 34 kilogram ball, I mean gram, 34 gram, so it's small. So I want to find the potential energy at each step. So <laughs> think of this problem, Morgan, when you walk into your house or down. Find PE at each step. Are they all going to be the same? 
No, because because no. it'll have traveled further. So your M G H H will be different in each step. Oh yeah, right. I thought it was just the height of the step, not the height of the. So here, from step 